Hey collectors, welcome to Star Wars Collected. I'm Jonathan. Guys, I, I did a thing. I, I bought something and it's it's pretty big and it's, it's gonna take up some space and I don't know whether I did the right thing or not. So it's probably gonna come with some controversy, but let me show you what we have here. This is the Ruby's Chewbacca Costume Supreme Edition. Uh, this is not a great costume. Uh, it retails for, I think, around $450. Uh, I see it for all different kinds of price points. However, it seems to be that people buy this costume, wear it once, never touch it again, and then dump them on eBay. Uh, and so for that reason, you can pick these things up under $200 almost any day of the week. Uh, so this was actually much less than that even. Um, so... I'm a big guy. I'm, I'm six foot seven. Uh, Chewbacca has always been one of my absolute favorite characters. And I think the older I get, uh, the more I appreciate the, uh, the tall representation that he gives. Uh, and I met Peter Mayhew once, uh, and he was just the, uh, the sweetest, gentlest giant that you could possibly imagine. Um, you know, he, he is Chewbacca. George Lucas once put, uh, the Chewbacca costume on someone else. And, uh, it, you could tell that it wasn't Peter. Uh, and they had to bring Peter in for filming that day. So uh, let's start maybe with the worst part here is the mask. This is the face that only a mother could love. The Chewbacca that we know and love, of course, is a very handsome, dashing Wookiee. Um, this face is not great. So uh, I don't plan on using this. I am currently trying to find uh, a much better head and face for him. Um, some common things that are wrong with this, the, uh, the, the lips and teeth are atrocious. Um, the way the fur lays is just, it's kind of like too long, I think, in a lot of places. The contrast with his mustache is very severe. Uh, and I guess overall people say that the head is too large. Now, I don't know if that means that it's too large to wear or if you were to, you know, properly insulate it and, and, and bulk it up that it's still just uh, off scale. Because when you think about Chewbacca, you know, a lot of times people think of Chewbacca as being a really big dude. He's actually just kind of a really tall, skinny guy. Um, the real reason I got this though is for this part, which is the actual uh, suit itself. Now, again, this isn't perfect. You know, no one's gonna think this is a screen accurate cosplay representation, but to build a real Wookiee suit, and I applaud them, I, I belong to a Wookiee builder group on, uh, on Facebook. Um, it is amazing what these guys are able to do, but you are looking at either making a major investment in synthetic fur or you are sitting there probably also with a very large investment and you are uh, individually sort of grabbing a group of hair and, and netting it onto what kind of amounts to sort of like a net suit. Uh, hours and hours and hours and hours of work. Um, and with the amount of projects that I go through, uh, I know that I have certain limitations on how much time that I'm willing to dedicate to a product uh, or to a project. And I feel like this was probably the best way for me to go. So um, I'm hoping that I will be able to throw this onto a mannequin that I'll have to modify. Uh, and then I will be able to source a better uh, head for him and make myself a, a real life Chewbacca that is good enough for me. Um, digging a little bit further in here, we have some fake feet. These may or may not work. He's kind of got some gnarly toes on there. Um, what else do we have? Uh, he also has some hands, which uh, I'm sure if you were to actually wear, you would just pour nothing but sweat into them while you wore them, but maybe on a mannequin, they will be okay. And last, but perhaps least, uh, is this bandolier bag. Um, it is you know, this is this is what Ruby's does for the most part. They have a couple of really nice pieces out there, but for the most part, it is you know sort of cheap costuming stuff. Uh, this is sort of a, a latex, and these boxes are all indented, uh, and I don't think there's really a way to inflate them. Um, and you sort of have this this little nappy sack here, uh, which also is nothing to write home about. Uh, <laughs> it is even fastened right through the middle of it, so you can't even. Uh, do anything there. So uh, I have a new bandolier and satchel on order from a person off of Etsy who gets amazing reviews. Uh, so I'm very much looking forward to adding that. I think that piece alone, adding a, a good quality bandolier and leather satchel on the front of him uh, will add a lot more credence to what 
uh, what this suit looks like. Uh, another hope uh, for this is that um, my wife is very much in the, uh, the modeling scene where we live, and I'm kind of hoping that I might be able to use uh, a friend of hers who is uh, well versed with hair or something like that to maybe just give me some ideas of maybe how I can take some of the shine off this or, or rough it up or something, or, or maybe even if I get it on a mannequin, uh, get a haircut for it at some point. Uh, who knows what this will end up being, but this is kind of my, my long-term project here at the moment. Uh, so if you happen to know who makes a, an amazing Chewbacca head, uh, that's not going to break the bank. Unfortunately, there's a lot of really, really nice ones out there that are just way too expensive for me. Um, I would be uh, delighted to know. Uh, now I know what you guys are all dying to do is to see me wearing this. And all I can tell you is that there's absolutely no way. It's never going to happen. I'm not going to wear it. You can just forget about it. <sighs> All right, I did it. As you can see though, the mask, not great. The body, hopefully okay. Uh, I would comment further on it, but I have no idea what it looked like right now because I really can't see out of this mask. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you like videos like this, be sure to give me a like. And if you want to check out more, be sure to subscribe. We'll have more videos here all the time.